We have now reached the end of ADSW Summits for 2021. Our closing address will be given by Julia Shershia, Executive Vice President, Strategy and Sustainability at BP. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Thank you so much for inviting me to join today. It is a privilege to be here. It was about a year ago when Bernard Looney, VP CEO, asked me if I wanted to join the team to basically help shape the biggest pivot in the company's over 100 history. So much has happened in one year and it really is difficult to condense in a few minutes, but I will try to briefly take you through our journey so far. First of all, let me start with why did we decide to transform the company? Let's say that first of all, the world is not on a sustainable path. According to the World Meteorological Organization, global temperatures have already risen by 1.1 degrees Celsius since the pre-industrial era. And there are signs that the energy transition has already started and is accelerating. So if I take Europe as an example, energy policies are changing and society supports a greener, lower carbon future. Now we can't predict the future, but we do believe some trends hold true against a range of different scenarios which we have modeled in our own energy outlook. First of all, the world is going to electrify at pace and as it does so, energy will become more regional, sources of energy more varied from renewable energy to gas to hydrogen and the landscape more complex. Secondly, customers will redefine mobility and convenience and we will see digital and multi-energy uh, solutions defining the customer experience. Thirdly, hydrocarbons will play a long-term role, but they will be challenged. So oil and gas will need to become more resilient and embrace decarbonization via CCUS or blue hydrogen, for example. Against this backdrop, there is a huge opportunity to grow long-term shareholder value as the energy landscape transforms. In our 2020 energy outlook, our rapid scenario, which is our well below two degrees scenario, predicts that above 40% of the energy mix will transition out of fossil fuels by 2050. At the same time, electricity demand will double by 2050 with renewables a clear winner. There will be around 900 million EV passenger cars by 2040. 114 cities, 121 countries, and over 1,500 companies have also committed to net zero. And this number just keeps growing. So trillions of dollars will be required to rewire the energy system. And we believe a company like BP has got to play a role, not only in participating, but also shaping this future because it makes good business sense. How is this received in terms of a transformation from our stakeholders? On February 12, 2020, Bernard announced a new purpose for BP, which is reimagining energy for people on our planet, with an overarching ambition, which is to get to net zero by 2050 or sooner and help the world get to net zero. And we followed up in August and September with the launch of a new strategy that will pivot BP from an international oil company to an integrated energy company. In September, we also announced a new sustainability frame, embracing three core areas of focus net zero, but also improve people's lives, including more clean energy for more people, respecting human rights, promoting equity and well-being, and care for our planet, including biodiversity, natural-based solutions, and responsible users of resources and circularity. And we will share more detail on our sustainability frame in the next sustainability report. The reaction from our stakeholders has been over overall extremely positive. We had great feedback from civil society and NGOs. Our shareholders have praised the direction we have set. And inside BP, you can feel the energy and the enthusiasm. And we are now fully focused on delivery. You will have seen many proof points already. Our strategic partnership with Equinor and Offshore Wind, and with Orsted to explore a green hydrogen project but also the recent startups of the Gazir gas field in Oman and the Shah Denise pipeline, which is now delivering gas from the Caspian to Europe. Because as we said, resilient and focused hydrocarbons are indeed a key enabler to our new strategy. And just let me reconfirm that we will meet our commitments, not least to our partners in the Middle East, because the energy transition will need the relationship we have 
built uh, many, many decades. So how are we going through it and what are the challenges? Um, now, without any doubt, this is a huge undertaking and a complex one. We are very confident that we have all the ingredients to succeed. We have a solid plan. We have a leadership in the board fully committed to our new strategy, and we have a relentless focus on execution. And we can build on our existing skills and capability. But we recognize that companies like ours, in hard to evade sectors, and that transition to low carbon energies are in uncharted waters. And this is probably our greatest challenge, which is we need everyone's support because we can't do it alone. We can't transform if governments, society and investors don't believe in what we're doing and don't back us. We have a scale and the expertise that are necessary to enable rapid and substantial reduction in emissions. And it really is in everyone's interest to welcome the contribution of every company that, like us, genuinely wants to play a role in the energy transition. So for the energy transition to be successful, we need companies such as ours to successfully transition. And this is as much about supporting green companies as it is about supporting greening companies. So let me just close by saying that we are committed to helping build a green future. It is not only the right thing to do for the planet, but it is the right thing to do for our business. It reaffirms our position as an employer of choice, and it makes us an attractive partner, supplier and investor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ms. Shershia. Well, that now concludes the ADSW Summit for 2021. Uh, this may be the end of ADSW Summit, uh, but of course it is not the end of the Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week. We look forward to seeing you at our other events. We have a packed program planned. The Atlantic Council Global Energy Forum continues now. Tomorrow, with the Abu Dhabi Sustainable Finance Forum, we begin at 11 a.m. Gulf Standard Time. Also tomorrow is the joint meeting of the UN Food Systems Summit and the UN High Level Energy Dialogue and the World Future Energy Summit webinars. The Atlantic Council Global Energy Forum and the Youth for Sustainability Virtual Forum continue. Finally, once again, we must take the opportunity to thank all of our speakers today for sharing their time and their insights, as well as thank each and every one of you, our global audience, for tuning in. Goodbye from the ADSW Summit 2021. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.